Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in this lecture, we will study about what happens in a reflex action. So reflex is a word we used for some sudden actions or sudden action in response to something in the environment. So it is a word used when we talk about some sudden action in response to something in the environment. Okay. So let's say I jumped out of the way of the bus reflexively. Okay, so these are all the examples. I pulled my hand. I pulled my hand back from the flame. Suddenly. So these actions which you do in response to something are called as reflex action. Okay. Like I was so hungry by my mouth started watering reflexively. So these are the action responses to something in the environment and they are very sudden in they are, they are very sudden. So what exactly do we mean? A common idea in all such examples is such that we do something without thinking for a very short period of time okay or without feeling in control of our reactions okay so yet these are situations where we are responding with some action to changes in our environment so how is control and coordination achieved in such situations now we will study about this means what happens in a reflex action so these are means we do not intend to do these actions but we do uh, but we did this okay means there is no intention of yours to do the action but you usually did this so these type of actions are called as reflex actions and they are very sudden in nature so now take one example how or what happens in reflex action touching a flame is an urgent and dangerous situation for us Okay, so like touching a flame is an urgent or dangerous situation for us. Okay, or in fact, for any animal. How would we respond to this? One seemingly simple way is to think consciously about the pain and possibility of getting burnt and therefore move our hand. Okay. But an important question then is how long will it take to think in this way means that our hand will be get burnt and like there will be some pain. So in the time that you will take to think over this situation in the, this time your hand will get burnt. So these are the actions which are sudden in or the sudden responses to action. Okay. So these are called as reflex action and why, how did they take place is the answer depends on how we think. If nerve impulses are sent around the way that we have talked about earlier, then thinking is also likely to involve the creation of such impulses. So thinking is a complex activity and so it is bound to involve a So I am writing here, thinking is a complex activity and so it bound to involve a complicated, to involve a complicated interaction of many
many nerve impulses nerve impulses from many neurons okay so if this is the case it is no surprise that thinking tissue in our body consists of dense networks that we have discussed about the structure of a neuron in the previous lecture also students so how the response is from the tip of a cell to the end of the cell transfers via axon okay so our body consists of dense network of intricately arranged neurons so that we have discussed in previous lecture also that there are so many neurons okay and it sits in the forward end of the skull and receives signals from all over the body which it thinks about different before responding to them okay means your brain is attached to the different neurons and these neurons send different type of responses to the brain and our body acts accordingly type uh, type of the message type of the electrical signals or the message we receive from the different type of neuron so obviously in order to receive these signals this thinking part of the brain in the skull must be connected to the nerves so the brain is connected to these nerve cells coming from the various part of the body so this is how we the reflex action is taken place so means our like this is our brain okay and it is connected to the different neurons or you can say the nerve cells and each nerve cell carry a different message so how our brain or our how we react to a particular situation depends on how we judge the electrical signal or the message sent by the neurons so this is how the reflex action takes place in our body i hope students now you are pretty clear about this and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section i will be happy to help you guys there okay and in the next lecture we will discuss about human brain so stay tuned for the next lecture thank you